All right, guys, I have this yard kind of tore up right now. I am doing all kinds of uh, splitting and, and uh, making no nooks during the honey flow. And uh, the thing is, every egg that's being laid right now is only going to be, be uh, emerging or coming to a foraging age after the nectar flow. So every egg right now isn't going to be used to me or much to the colony. So this is actually a, what I would consider a really good time to start splitting because you don't need much brood right now. What you need, um, you know, is splits so you can start feeding those splits and, and uh, bringing them up as the foragers continue to bring in honey and maximize honey production. You can feed splits, make splits and feed them and maximize your uh, feed production, your mating production. All right, and your, and your queen acceptance rate goes way up during the honey flow. So this queen in this box is, uh, well, my original mother queen. She's a great queen, but she is pretty old. She is my original. I need to uh, start thinking about replacing her before I go into the winter. And unfortunately, this is the best time of year to do it. And it's something I'm going to, I'm going to execute before I regret it. This is an old queen and uh, she needs to be eventually replaced sooner than later. So we are going to do a safest way possible. All right, safest way possible. It's a big colony. We're getting the smoker. All right, we have the smoke going. Smoke these bees a little bit. I'm gonna smoke my phone, camera phone, whatever. All right, we're gonna get these bees to chill out a little bit. No, nope, nothing's happening. Nothing's wrong. We're all right. Everything's great and dandy. All right. Well, that smoke smells good, anyways. All right, what was I saying again? Okay, oh, yeah, I'm, the queen's old, and it's time to replace her, but this is the safest way to do it. I'm not going to kill her now. I'm first going to get a mated queen. That's number one priority. We don't want to go around killing queens before we have a mated queen, right? All right, I have a virgin queen caged up, ready to go inside this box. But first, we must find the, the original queen so that we can see, uh, so we can move her. Let me, sh let's find her real quick. This is a brood frame. Be lucky to get her the first time, right? But well, who's that lucky? Not me, apparently. All right. So now we have some room to work. Believe it or not, that's a, there's brood on that. On an outer wall frame, there's brood. She's not been a bad queen, but she's just getting older. Oh, a weird looking queen cup. That is so goofy. Look at that fat queen cup. Oh, not my camera. Okay. Right there. Look at that thing. We're empty. Woo. All right, that's it. Guys, it's a chewed open queen cell. Holy moly, it's a chewed open queen cell. Wow. Look at the bottom. So look, we are... The very bottom. Right down here. See where my, where's my camera? Right there. It's a chewed open one. There's two chewed open ones. One right there too. So that's been a queen cell that's been chewed open. That is quite interesting. They have not swarmed. Let's get my smoker going. All right. 
All right, so we have a chewed open queen, so that is uh, something to be alert of the, alerted about. Maybe they're trying to supersede her already. Or maybe they're trying to swarm. We got a brood frame. Don't see the queen. So this box, listen, they're roaring. That's one indicator that that queen is not in this box, okay? Okay, so we have an indicator, the queen's not in there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to the bees, the bees queen this roar. And we're gonna go in this box and see if we can find her in here. Right off the, pretty quickly, whatever. Guys, we have so much honey. If I see a full frame of honey in this box, I'm, I'm calling it. That frame is so heavy, dude. Man, that frame is so heavy. Guys, I simply cannot grab it. Easy does it. What do you do when the frame is so heavy? Full of honey. All right, this is going in my super box. We're gonna replace it with some foundation. We have so much, we're almost honey bound. This whole, all my hives right now are almost honey bound. In just literally a week and a half of nectar flow. There's my queen. Was I right or was I right? Queen this roar means can't even see what's going on this. Okay, my queen's on here. All right, so we're gonna keep this queen in here. So let's see what we got in this frame. Just chucked full of honey. Let's go, honey! That is exciting right there okay i'm putting that right in my super box because we are honey bound folks all right guys so my original queen is in is on this frame right here okay i pulled out some of the honey frames because i want to leave her with some space to lay all right the, the idea is is to uh take away from the colony with, with double screen bottom board Introduce a virgin queen to the original colony, and then, uh, holy moly, that is a frame of honey and a half. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put this frame at the end by the feeder so I know where it's at. So I'm going to have to harvest that frame too when the time comes. But we have so much honey in this colony, it's really crazy. Um, so let's get this queen that in towards the middle of the colony. So there's a brood frame in here. There's a hatching frame, or actually it's a frame that she's laying on. Let's put this uh, honey frame against the wall. There's a little bit of honey right there. We'll give that to the queen. And look, we have some frames with some honey in it, but there, it's also, uh, it's not very much and there's something that she could lay in. So we're gonna give her that colony. That, that frame, I mean, sorry. 
and you have this frame, food frame, honey and pollen. Give that to her. All right. And then we're gonna throw this foundation in there to help them stay a little busy. You don't want swarming right away. All right, so we have the original queen set up. Let's get the mating colony set up. So now this chamber is, this colony is queenless. A lot of brood in there. Uh, Okay, so we're going to get my virgin queen. Now here's my virgin queen in the cage. There. Introduce that. And then get this frame of mostly honey. Yeah, it's all honey. I'm sorry. It's all honey. Boom. All right. So now we get the honey box. I'm going to hardly lift it now. Put it on there. And then we get the... Uh, Double screen board with the entrance here. See that I cut out an entrance right there. I'm gonna put it in the back. So now we get the, uh, the original queen. Uh, it's heavy, still tons of honey in here. Put it right on top of here. You know what I'm going to do? Before I do this, I'm going to give him another super. Get that. Let's see here. Now let's get it up the top of the board. So now we have the queen in there. She's safe. She'll be taken care of. Let's, let's write this out. The virgin queen box, she's here to get mated. Right middle of honey flow. Honey box, right there. Uh, empty foundation, one frame of drawn comb, but that's super, super frames. Mother Queen up here, safe in her own little split. So, we ensure that we don't lose a queen while we try our best to get a queen mated. If it fails, we still have a mated queen. The colony is not done for. This is the ultimate best way to, this is the ultimate way to requeen. It's, it's, a, it's a, an insurance policy that basically is harmless. And you maximize honey production because now all these bees aren't taking care of brood. Now they're stacking up honey like you wouldn't believe. Okay, let's see where she's at. Okay, give her a moment. She's on the other side. Wait, oh, here she comes. I'm just gonna be patient. Just be patient. Oh, she can't get out that way. The queen cup's blocking her. All right. So, there she goes. There she goes. Focus, camera. She's on the top there. 
She's on the top. Sorry, about dropping the, about dropped it. Do not really recognize her at all. I cannot grab the stupid frame. I cannot drop the frame, guys. So at this point in the video, my camera just kind of messed up. And so anyways, I the, the queen seemed to be accepted fine. The bees weren't acting aggressive towards her at all. So I'm lifting her up, quickly getting her into the colony. And we're going to keep this colony tied up for a while. Not going to bother, bother the colony as this new queen's pheromone gets established. So we'll come back in two weeks or so to see if we have a mated queen or not. All right, guys, up here is where my original queen is. I am giving her some pollen in her, in her colony because there's no, there, there's no foraging for So there's no new pollen coming in. There's no nectar coming in. So bees really like to use sugar, su sugar syrup to raise brood. That's their ideal way, that, that, that's their primary uh, purpose for nectars to raise brood. They don't like to use honey. They prefer syrup. That's, that's a fun fact. Like bees like a more watered down co concentration of sugar for the growth of the colony. Bees make honey because they, they have to for winter survival. That's their natural instincts. But they do prefer syrup, one to one. So I'm going to give them, I'll give them a little bit. Keep in mind, this is a double screen bottom board. Might as well just be a different colony now. But I will eventually <coughs> conjoin all the bees back to the original colony after the queen gets mated. But I want to make sure the queen gets mated. So this is my insurance policy. This is a... Uh, so, so I, you cannot mess this up. So boom, boom, we're done. We are cooking, we're making honey, we're making queens, we're making splits. Let's go. Like, subscribe, enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun. Enjoy your bees.